Well, welcome to the Startup Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, the host of the show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot of startup funding and investing. A fully diluted cap table shows the impact of the conversion of convertible notes. A convertible note has a date of issue, interest rate, discount rate, valuation cap, and maturity date. Upon maturity, the debt typically converts to equity. The conversion is based on the principal amount, accrued interest, and the discount offered. To calculate the impact on your cap table, you also need to know the number of shares issued and outstanding. The valuation cap sets the maximum value of the company upon conversion. Let's say we have a $1 million convertible note with 10% discount, 5% interest rate, and a valuation cap of $3 million and a maturity date of three years. Let's say the company has 1 million shares outstanding and the valuation of the company is $5 million at the next round of funding. Non-convertible note holders would get $5 million divided by 1 million shares or a price of $5 per share. The convertible note holders would get the valuation cap divided by the number of outstanding shares, 3 divided by 1, or $3 per share. The convertible note holders will get their shares at a lower price because of the valuation cap. The convertible note investors investing $1 million divided by $3 per share equals 333,333 shares. The interest rate and discount rate would further reduce the price the investors pay for those shares. These shares are added to the cap table, which dilutes the value of the shares of the existing shareholders. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start up into the day. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.